Hey everyone, welcome to a new episode of Kit Good at Open Rogos Tycoon 2. In this episode I'll be showing you my uh, favorite ways to make forests. Um, I will be showing you four different kinds of forests. So first I'll show you uh, quickly how to make a jungle forest. Then I'll make a pine tree forest. And after that I'll show you how to make a temperate forest. And at the end I'll quickly show you how to make a, a snow and ice forest. Um, first thing that I want to show you is a trick that I like to do. Um, so for that we need to disable clearance checks, and disable support limits, and we'll just select a kind of tree. And then when we hold shift we can bury the tree. Now this is a trick that will come in uh, handy in uh, all of the following examples that I will show you. So first, let's make a jungle uh, forest. I'll just quickly paint the floor a bit. So in order to make a forest, it's always nice to make the floor look a bit uh, interesting. So try not to have just uh, one kind of uh, floor, just uh, mix it up a bit. This makes it a little bit more uh, interesting to look at. All right. Now, I already pre-selected some uh, kinds of trees that you can use. Um, well, uh, let's start with the normal jungle trees. So I'll just place a bit of these. And like I just showed you, you can also uh, bury these if you want, if you want a smaller height. Now we'll just place some of the other trees. Try to uh, try to mix up, always mix up the, the different kinds of trees you use. I always like to uh, use at least uh, four or five different trees uh, in every forest that I make. I think we are overdoing it a little bit. These uh, trees. So let's delete a few of them. All right. Um, when you make a forest, oh, you should always also make sure to put lots of bushes in between just to fill up uh, any gaps and to make it look more uh, grown. So uh, you may be wondering why I put the weeping willow tree and the camperdown elm tree also in this pre-selection of uh, jungle trees. That's because I like to use the weeping willow tree, bury it and just make the jungle look a little bit more dense. Just make it look a bit more uh, overgrown. The weeping willow tree works really well to make your forest look more uh, lush, so to say. Okay, let me add some, uh, some of these. Also bury them. Okay, and the giant carrots also work really well if you just bury them. You can also bury them on the same pile as an existing tree. We'll add some giant ferns from the from the giant garden set. And of course, you know, there's also these other bushes you can add. You can make it as dense as you want. And of course, always good to add some color. So for that I like to use these uh, jungle flowers. You can make them any color you want. So you can make it a bit too dense. Let me add a little bit more grass. Alright, and there you have it. This is our little uh, jungle tree. Um, of course, uh, you can always make it look more detailed, or uh, you can make it as dense as you want, or less dense. Or... It's all really uh, up to you. I think this is a little bit uh, too dense for my liking, but not bad, I think, for uh, two minutes of uh, painting trees. Alright, um, now let's make a pine tree. Uh, I make pine, uh, pine forests uh, quite often. So again, let's just start by uh, painting the ground a bit. Okay, a bit of uh, 
bit of dirt, add some rocks. Of course, it often will also look nice if you add some uh, some hills or uh, some water. Little lakes look uh, usually look really great in the, in forests. All right, well, we'll just uh, put some of these big pine trees. These also look uh, really good when they're buried, especially uh, when you put them near the edge of the forest. It will just make uh, make it look like there's some younger pine trees. This is especially useful if you don't uh, use any custom scenery in your map. You can just use these trees to uh, make some tr some younger pine trees of a different height. Okay, we add some of these. Again, it usually looks best if you use uh, any different kinds of trees. Four or five is usually best. And we'll put some of these. And finally, you'll want to put some of these quarter tile trees just to make it look less uh, like a grid. So these quarter tile trees uh, add some uh, Randomness to the position of the uh, positions of the trees. Right, and then I like to put some shrubs just to fill in uh, any gaps, and they usually also look uh, nice on the edge of the forest. Can use some different kinds. Just some little other bushes to add some contrast. And you can also use the gardens to add some color if you'd like. You can also color them uh, green if you want. And here's another trick I like to use, especially near paths. Let me quickly create a path here. So near the edge of the forest I like to put uh, these conifer hedges, but not just at one height, but I also like to bury them like this. So just hold shift and put them down. You'll need to disable clearance checks for this. And they also look good when put at the minimum height where they are still visible. You can also extend this into the forest. If you do it like this, it often doesn't even look like it. it's just a square. And I think this looks uh, looks really nice. Okay, that was the pine forest. Now let's make a temperate forest. Uh, again, paint the ground. Okay, the birch trees are especially effective for making, uh, for burying, for making bushes. They look uh, really well when you bury them. We'll add some of the other trees as well. You should try to incorporate uh, trees of different colors in your forest. It will usually look uh, look best if you do it that way. Again, you can just bury trees if you want to make them shorter. Most of these uh, temperate trees look uh, really well when buried. Right, I'll just add a few more trees as example. And of course, there's also uh, plenty of uh, bushes you can use for the temperate trees. I think these flowers look a bit, little bit too bright. Let's make them green like this. Perfect. And again, this is just an easy example of a forest that I made in a few minutes of painting. It's uh, you can of course make try to make it as detailed as you look. It always also looks nice if you uh, put some uh, little buildings in it or some. Uh, 
some other stuff here from the mine team that usually looks good. Okay, and then for the final example, I'll just put some uh, s snow and ice uh, forest here. Let's first do some uh, landscaping. Now, there's not too many uh, kinds of trees you can choose from in this set. I just like to use the just put some just green trees just to add some contrast they're also good to uh, to bury and then after that just use all the, the snow covered trees again you can bury them if you want try not to put too many of the same kind uh, just really mix them up or else it will look monotonous very, uh, very quickly. And we'll put some of these trees as well. And at the end again, to make it look uh, more random, we'll put some quarter tile trees just to make it less uh, grid-like. And we'll bury a few trees here in front as well. And we'll finish with some uh, bushes. I think it can use uh, a little bit more uh, normal green trees. Like that. Well, this forest is also pretty dense. It's up to you how dense you want uh, the forest to be. So it's good to add some uh, decorations, especially near the paths. Some snowmen that will look nice. And you could uh, put uh, one or two of these huts uh, hidden in the, in the forest. Alright, these are my uh, favorite ways to uh, make forests in uh, Open Rollercoaster Tycoon 2. I hope you uh, enjoyed these tricks, uh, if you have any questions just uh, leave a comment and I will try to uh, answer them as uh, good as I can. Of course these are not the only ways to, uh, to make forests, but this is just uh, the way I like to do it. Alright, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you again in the next episode. See you later!